Good morning and welcome back to Stitched Up. This is different from me for a change. Those of you that have been following me for a long time will know that probably about two or three years ago I was doing regular Stitched Up weekly vlogs which was sort of a week in my sewing life I guess and I filmed a little bit every day put it all together in a vlog and used to upload on a Sunday and I did it for about a year which was amazing and those vlogs were always so well received by everybody who watched my channel back then and some of you that have probably joined in the last couple of years might not have gone back that far but you know times move on don't they we all get really busy and I just fancied doing another one for a change although I'm not doing a weekly vlog I thought I'd do a spend a day with me vlog because I'm off work today the weather is beautiful I've got a bit of a headache I wasn't very well last week and I've been suffering with sort of headaches a little bit um and it's come back I was supposed to be going to CrossFit this morning but I just could not face it at all so I haven't been but yeah i'm going to be doing a bit of sewing today martin's at work and isaac's at work actually as well and i thought we could just spend the day together and see what we get up to so anyway first things first you can probably notice that i look a little bit different to my normal self and that's because i've dyed my hair again you all know how much i'm a bit of a chameleon with my clothing style and also what I do with my hair and I'm always changing things up and I've dyed it and I'm not quite sure what I think it's supposed to be a level eight ash blonde does it look ash blonde to you guys because it doesn't really to me it's gone quite dark well darker from obviously what it was my hair grabs color really quickly um I'm pleased with how even it is but it just feels a little bit dark but it's actually on screen not coming up too bad and I've just tied it up out of the way at the moment while it finishes drying off and I've got a little bit of a side parting going on for a change I used to always have a side parting and then they seem to have gone out of favour a bit don't they um all the young ones now young ones I can say that because I'm really old all the young ones now um have the centre partings don't they and that's what I've had for a while but I used to have a side parting all the time so anyway I've tied it up um it feels more like an ash mud than an ash blonde but anyway we will see how we get on with it i'm sure after a few washes a lot of this will wash out and it'll go a bit blonder again a bit more beigey but um yeah it's definitely better than what it was and i think it quite suits me but anyway we shall see so what am i wearing today i am wearing my tint of mint patterns violet violet dress i think it was i made this in the fruity fabric that I got from Rainbow Fabrics for my holiday in Portugal and I um yeah thought I'd put it on today because it's really warm we're not used to this heat especially here in Yorkshire because the last month or two have been dreadful but the sun is shining today and I thought I would put this dress back on just to try and keep cool but I am so warm um so what am I sewing well I am making a bit of a hack if I'm honest because it was actually Amelia from So Amelia I will link to her channel down below who reminded me of this pattern because a month or so ago I made the De Clique pattern by Atelier Scamit which is a free pattern and I love it it's gorgeous and I wanted to revisit it and Amelia has just made one she put it up on Instagram the other day and it reminded me and I thought you know what I want to hack it and I've hacked it a fair bit if I'm honest because I am making this into a jersey top because it's actually designed for a woven fabric so I'm making it into a jersey top but I'm also doing a bit of a twist front as well because I just fancied that and I'm doing it in black because I've got some khaki sort of cargo jeans and I'm running out of black tops to wear with it well I'm saying I'm running out I don't have any apart from vests and at the minute I don't want to wear vests we won't go into that but anyway so this is it here so the de Clique top has like these shoulder pleats and I've just stitched over the um shoulder seams that's the word and stitch that down and then I've got this sort of hack at the front as you can see a little twist front there it needs hemming and I still need to finish off the neckline 
um yeah so but i'm loving how it's turning out as a little top i ended up going wrong with the back and i had to sort of piece it a bit so i've done like a bit of a sort of design line seam shall we say at the back because i used a normal um back bodice of a jersey top which has like a scoop arm side and i needed obviously it to fit the front of this so i used the back pattern piece of the declique top to then sort of create a little extra bit that i could stick on because i didn't have enough of this jersey to cut out another back bodice if that makes sense so i had to hack it well fudge it whatever you want to call it so yeah i've done that there and actually it looks okay so what i've got to do now is just do the neck line and i was going to do a neck band but i don't want a neck band if i'm honest i want a really clean finish on this so i think what i'm going to do is just turn it over and hem which is really not what we're supposed to do with jersey neck bands are we but that's what i'm going to do and we'll see how it looks if it works out okay then i can probably um create a pattern for this top separately i think for myself to use in the future but if you're interested in figuring out how i did this i can do a separate tutorial on it as one of my top tip tuesdays at some point so what else have i got to tell you look what came yesterday so Haley jane so i've left this to unbox with you actually um i've got it upside down there we go terrible vlogger um yes i started resubscribing to Haley's subscription box last month when she did the special with tilly because you all know how much i love lady mcelroy fabrics and i loved the fact that she was doing a collaboration with tilly sorry Haley was doing a collaboration with tilly and in the luxury box was a new colorway of one of their lady mcelroy fabrics and so i had to get it obviously i had to get it and i also wish i got the classic box because when i saw everybody's fabric that was in that classic box last month it was divine so anyway i've just downgraded to the classic box this month i have no idea what this fabric is but we shall see we'll have a look and we shall see what's in here so we've got the gorgeous yellow tissue paper Ooh, this looks exciting lovely little magazine which i will have a read of later obviously i'm not going to go into tons of detail about this now because it's not an unboxing vlog as such um we've got the really really yummy fat quarters and actually um in fact i can't show you i was going to show you but i'll put a little picture in i made the waves and wild sandcastle bucket hat for layla last sunday i think it was this is it here and i have to say that fat quarters for this bucket hat are just perfect because um these two colorways are gorgeous and i am going to make her another one for her holidays so i'm going to that's what these two are going to be straight away as like a little reversible bucket hat perfect love those we've got a little packet of marshmallow sweeties which always come in very handy oh what's this here oh little box look which says the home of super cute pins washi and stationery it's nutmeg arlo mm. never heard of those but we shall open it and see oh it's some wash is it washi tape I love a washi tape and I know lots of people think, well, when can I use washi tape? Do you know when I use it? I stick it on my, the bed of my sewing machine. So if I want to um, hem something at a particular distance, say if it's something really precise and it doesn't fit with the markings that are on my sewing machine bed, I will use washi tape. I'll measure it and use this as a guide. That's gorgeous. Look how pretty, beautiful flowers. They're lovely and um yeah i use it for that i will also use it for sticking down labels before i sew them just to make sure that they're you know perfectly aligned um you can use them for buttons as well so yeah i use washi tape a lot and then what we've we got in here little bag look some buttons buttons oh yes cute little pearlized buttons 
Um, I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see these. Can you see? They've got like a little pearly effect on them. They're really lovely. Never go wrong with buttons. They always come in, don't they? And then the fabric is gorgeous. Really nice. A plain one this month, which is lovely. We've got pink thread, Gutterman thread, and beautiful pink fabric. And I love this colour. It's, oh, sorry, I just knocked you then, didn't I? Um, it's one of my favourite colours. I adore pink. Absolutely adore it. So, yes, gorgeous. This is like a washed cotton, I think. And it's really lovely. So I don't know what I'll make with that yet, but I will definitely make something because it's a gorgeous fabric that I will definitely use. And you can't go wrong with a lovely classic plain, can you? Let's face it, we all get drawn to the prints. Well, lots of us do because we are print magpies. But um, yeah, you can't go wrong with a plain at times. So that's my So Hayley Jane box. What else have I got to show you? I've got some fabrics to show you and uh lots of other exciting things because i've been spending money that i probably shouldn't have but you know what can i say right let me grab the fabrics and i will show you what i've been buying okay i'm back so stitch and stash not stitch and ink stitch and stash they're a lovely indie online company who sell gorgeous designer fabrics and last weekend she put a post on instagram saying that she was having a 20 percent off sale of everything on her website i think it, i think it was all fabrics and I had a look and some of the fabrics that were on there are ones that i've been coveting for ages um but they're expensive fabrics because they're designer brand so i had to buy i'm afraid so she had the atelier brunettes the atelier jupes all those kinds of um, brands for sale with 20% off. So the first one I got is, well, I got a couple of Atelier Jupe fabrics. I got this one, which is gorgeous. It's viscose and it's very sort of like Missoni print. Um, you know, the Missoni designer that does the um, zigzag chevron knit fabrics well this is a viscose but it looks very much like it from a distance it's gorgeous really lovely so i got a couple of meters of that i think um i also bought this one which i have wanted for so long and yeah it was just wonderful to get it at such a good discount so this is another atelier jupe and it is the green and lilac tie-dye which is just beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. So I think I got three and a half, four meters of that one. And then this Atelier Jupe one as well, which is the blue and lilac sort of floral tie dye sort of print. A couple of meters of that one. And then she had the Seawick 6 French Terry, which I just loved. I thought it was beautiful. So I got a meter and a half, I think, of that one. And she had the matching ribbon as well for sale, the CU at six ribbon. So I've got half a metre of that. And then finally, I am wanting to make a sort of hooded gilet for autumn. Yes, I know. Oh, I can't believe autumn is coming soon because summer has only just arrived. But anyway, um, I've bought the I Am Hathor pattern by I Am Patterns. And I really like that because there's lots of options with it. Don't know anybody that's made it. Um, I have made a couple of iron patterns before in the past, so I'm quite confident with their pattern instructions, etc. They're fairly straightforward, to be honest, but I really liked the look of this. I liked the look of the different options. And on the Stitch and Stash website, she had some Mind the Maker, yeah, really expensive, quilted fabric with a waterproof finish in the set with the 20% off. So I got a metre and a half of it in this navy colorway this is it here it's just a, i mean it looks quite black on screen but it is navy it's gorgeous really lovely quilted obviously it's got the wadding inside it's quilted on both sides so it doesn't need lining i just need to get some navy bias binding so i can bias all the edges but I, yeah i've got a meter and a half of that because i'm really keen to make myself a sort of gilet that i can wear for autumn walks that kind of thing feels really warm as well so that's lovely so that's come 
yeah it's been a productive week so far so um i'm gonna finish off that top and then i need to think about what else i am gonna do i have got a few plans that i haven't done a separate plans vlog yet for august because we're going on holiday in a couple of weeks so i was umming and ah and thinking should i do one what should i do but i don't really know how much time i'm gonna have um because i've got a lot on plus i've got a couple of sort of blog blogger projects to do some northern soul sister stuff to do etc which i can't really share so i thought i won't probably do a separate plans vlog this month i think i'm just gonna do be a bit more spontaneous shall we say right i'm going to um grab my coffee and then i need to go and pick isaac up soon from work because he finishes soon and then we might just have a quick look in boys and see what they've got so yeah right i'm here so um isaac finishes work in a few minutes Boys is directly opposite where you can't see at the minute. Um, I'm going to nip in and just see what they've got. And yeah, I want some embroidery threads because I mentioned earlier that I'm making, that I've made a Waves and Wild Sandcastle bucket hat for Layla. And I've cut one out for myself as well for my holiday. Um, just in some white heavy cotton. I think it might be linen actually that I've, it was a remnant that I'd got from some old project and i would like to embroider some flowers just along sort of one side of it um yeah so i'm gonna nip in and get some embroidery threads for that and i meant to pick them up when i dropped isaac off earlier and i completely forgot so we'll bob in and we'll see what they've got it's very warm it says 27 degrees at the minute i'm melting Amy's little flower farm on the way back and Amy does these gorgeous bouquets a bit like Lisa Comfort and these little jars look um, they're just beautiful absolutely beautiful so I've come to get myself a bouquet we've got these small ones that are 15 pound I think and these larger ones that are 20 I think I'm probably going to get the 20 pound one and then I'll split it they're just so pretty which shall I get? I can't decide. And I'm back. So I've got my gorgeous flowers. Let me show you. Look at those. How beautiful are those? So I'm going to arrange them. I've just got myself two new vases from Tesco's because these were reduced. The recycled glass. Sorry, you can't see me, can you? So they were reduced. So I'm going to um, sort out my flowers from last week which are here and looking a little bit sorry for themselves and save the ones that have still got lots of life in and I can put them in these two new glasses and yeah I'm gonna sort that and then I will show you what I bought from boys <laughs>
Right, I've come to sit in my conservatory. It is really warm today. I've got some fruit juice and I haven't had any lunch yet, so I need to sort that. But you've just seen me finish all the flowers. So every room I walk in now, when I come home, I have a little smile on my face because the flowers look very pretty. So I've been to boys and I've come back to some mail. We'll open that in a minute. It's from Rainbow Fabrics, I believe. So, but before we get there, I haven't even shown you these earrings today, have I? These are, let me just move my hair so you can see them. Really pretty earrings that I got from the lovely Beck, who is what Beck sews from her shop, which is Jazz and Wow. So I'll leave a link to that down below. I got these ones and I got some Monstera leaves. Are they Monstera leaves? I'm not sure, actually. I don't think the Monstera leaves, but they're definitely leaves. My hair's doing its own thing. It's not bad color, is it? But I'm getting used to it. Anyway, I bought some bulbs, exciting stuff. Flower bulbs, anemones, tulips, and allium, because I'm gonna do my own flower bed for next year down the bottom of our garden. Our garden is actually really quite big because we have an orchard beyond the actual garden. Um, but further down the garden is a patch that we sorted out a couple of years ago because we were going to grow vegetables and then we just didn't get around to it. My dad was poorly, etc, etc. So I've now decided that I'm going to grow flowers in that patch, cut flowers specifically so that I can cut my own, which would be really nice next summer. So we need to sort that out. So I am going to plant these in there because my borders are full. There's nowhere to put anything in the borders. So I'm going to plant those in there. And then you probably saw a little bit of footage that I did take in boys of some of the fabrics that they have reduced at the minute and obviously obviously i had to get some didn't i so i bought this one which is a lovely cotton and it's a lightweight cotton i just think it's gorgeous black and white floral is it black yes it is black black and white beautiful so i need to get that pre-washed i got three meters did i get three meters yes three meters of that which will make a nice little dress and then I also bought, sorry for the rustling, I bought one of these, can you see that little lobster clasp for a very special project that I am working on at the minute that I can't tell you any more of. And then I got a handful of different coloured embroidery threads, all different ones look, so that I can have a go at embroidering some flowers on my bucket hat. We'll see how that goes. Um, right then, parcel from Rainbow Fabrics. I think I just ordered two. And ugh, I think I ordered four meters of each one. So the first one I got is this one. I just think this is the most bonkers fabric ever, but I really like it. Um, they had this in before. I actually don't know if that colorway is going to work with my skin tone, but hey ho. And then it, it, it went out of stock really quickly and they got it back in. It's a viscose twill. Um, really nice weight, actually. It's lovely. So I got four meters of that one. And then you'll have seen this one because everybody's been buying it, especially if you went to the Festival of Quilts and you've watched everybody's hauls from the Festival of Quilts. Everybody bought this fabric that I bought it too. And I got four meters of it. So it's this one because it's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. I think this is one of the most amazing fabrics that Rainbow Fabrics have ever had. So I got four meters of this as well. It's just glorious, absolutely glorious. And I'm so pleased I got it because it went out of stock online so quick. And yeah, I haven't been able to get to the Festival of Quilts this year because just, you know, life. What can I say? Right, I am going to finish off that top and then hopefully try it on so that you can have a look. Um, get some of these in the washing machine because we've still got a lot of the day left. And I can probably get some of these hung out and dried before the sun sets tonight. So that would be good. Right, t-shirt is done. Um, I'm not sure if I'm honest, but we'll see. I've just literally tried it on over my dress and obviously it looks ridiculous. But 
with jeans it might be okay but I don't know if you can see it very well there's the tie bit at the bottom what I'm sort of fine the tie bit the twist bit what I'm finding is when I'm putting it on I end up with like a little bulgy bit here so this bit is sort of bulging out rather than staying in hidden which is what it should be doing um but I have just literally overlocked and folded the neckline over and stitched it and it's absolutely fine. This is like a bamboo jersey, which I think is the right weight of fabric. So anyway, it's done. Um, I am now looking at my Waves and Wild hat and I've just been watching Tilly's hand embroidery little tutorial that she's got on her website. That's the word, Rachel, the website. And what I want to do is, these are my pattern pieces here that I cut out the other day and they are all stabilised, etc. So they're ready to go. I am just wondering, because I can't find where my embroidery needles are, but I've got this little kit that has everything you need in it, which is amazing. Um, there is an embroidery needle in there. Definitely will need glasses on to be able to thread that one. And a little hoop. And I am, yes, I was just wondering because I realised with embroidery, hand embroidery, what you should do is, well, I'm saying this is an embroidery needle. It's, I'm presuming it is. It's a cross stitch kit. Are they any different? I don't know. I don't know. What does it say? It just says needle. Kit contains plastic hoop, thread, stitching, fabric, needles, threader, instructions. I'm assuming the needles are embroidery needles, but anyway, we shall see. We'll see how this works out. But um, yes, I was reading that actually what you're supposed to do is embroider your fabric first where you want it to be. Draw out your pattern piece on the fabric, hoop it, then do it and then cut it out afterwards but this is going to fit in this hoop which should be okay because this is the side of the hat if that makes sense and then yeah the hat side so I'm hoping that's where I think I should put the embroidery I'm going to draw a little design and I'm going to sit in the garden I think and just do a little bit of hand embroidery and see what happens <laughs> blimey gosh they're casting a not very nice shadow are they <sighs> blimey it's warm okay look at this i am really happy with how this is coming on actually this is obviously going to be it's not looking right at the minute but yeah that's the brim it's the brim um no it's not the brim at all it's the side this is going to be the side of the hat if that makes sense and i think it's looking all right i've not done any hand embroidery before so um i started with this flower which is the worst out of the the ones i've done um but the rest of it's coming on all right so yeah it's gonna look uh interesting when it's done right I am going to leave it there guys for today because I need to get tidied up. Martin will be home from work soon. Then we're going to have our dinner. I uh, don't know what we're having tonight, but I'm going to leave it there for today. I hope you've enjoyed just seeing what I get up to on my day off from work. It's been really nice, very hot, sunny. <sighs> I need a cold drink. So take care of yourselves and I will see you soon. Bye.